What's up guys? Chris here, playing Jurassic World the game. Alright, this video I'm gonna make it a little bit more informative. I'm gonna show you a few ways how to get some cash. Just in case if you need if you need in the need of cash and you just want to get some cash. And I'm gonna show you how I get some cash sometimes. When I say cash, it's game dollars. Okay? It's right here. I mean, there is, there is an easy way always. And the easy way is just go ahead and buy it. But you just want to get some free cash. And that's what my, my, my point is. I just want to show you how to get some free cash, what to trade, and whatnot, and what goes for the most. So, my number one will be Trade Arbor. If you are VIP, you get three custom trades every 24 hours so this is where I try to get the most cash that I can now there's a way of trading you can trade anything for cash pretty much you can even trade dinosaurs for cash I can I can almost price something like rare will go for like 80 to 100 dollars so it's not worth it game dollars something like legendary can go from 200 to 250 and something uh, shiny legendary that can go close to like uh, I believe uh, I've traded once I just wanted to see it I think it was like 550 but it can go higher than that but I don't know if you if I, I don't I don't think it's a good idea to give a, a shiny legendary card for some cash but I'm gonna show you what I do usually I have three custom trades because of VIP. If you're not a VIP, you still have one trade every 24 hours. So do the uh, make the best out of it. You can get 200, 250. Usually the best things to trade. Moods are not so good. Unless you have a legendary mood. Or very rare one. So it's, 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 I mean, those are expensive to get them. So it's not worth trading. Coins, coins will give you 50. If you trade coins for cash, it will give you 50 to 100. Because you cannot control how much coins you're giving away. So that's that's not a good option. The same way as with food. DNA, yeah, it does give you a little bit more. But none of them passes over, goes over 200. If you get any trades... Over to loyalty points is the best ones. Loyalty points you can get from 150 to 300, but depends on a trade. You can get even less. So, uh, so I mean, I would suggest, I would, I would not suggest loyalty points. My best thing, usually, what I do, <clears throat> I trade. So here, what I do, I'm just gonna go right here in the spot because I have an empty spot right here, and I'm gonna just go buy. Uh, just gonna move the video a little bit out of the way. And uh, I'm gonna buy some. I'm gonna see the most expensive building that I can get. Okay, here it is. This is. Okay. Aptosaurus fossil. That's the most expensive uh, uh, structure that I can get. So I'm gonna buy one of this. I'm gonna place it right there. I'm gonna put my finger on it, hold it, put it right back. Okay, I'm not selling or anything. But now, if I go back to the trades right here, and I go to my custom trades right there, see I have a decoration available right now. So I'm gonna go look for buildings this time. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Depends on a day, I just wanna be very clear. Depends on a day, you can get more for buildings than uh, 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 than the uh, decorations. For example, the other day when I did a, I did three trades, I had a building that a day before gave me three hundred coins, three hundred dollars per trade, and the next day it just gave me only one hundred twenty, and the decoration gave me uh, three hundred. So depends on the day. You just want to make sure. Who gives it if you have three options available? Now, if you have one option available and you just got to go with the biggest one, and it seems like 
the decoration is the biggest one but let's just see cost uh let's just check the buildings i want to see yeah i don't see any buildings that will give you maximum trade right there unless you have a shiny buildings available and so i'm gonna go with decorations today since decorations oh as you can see it here is what my uh Ab 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 fossil you just place it and you just lift it right back so this a tar pit tar pit seems to be one of the best ones so like i said if you get over 200 it's an excellent trade but it adds up 200 three trades it's six seven hundred dollars right six seven hundred dollars it's pretty good if you do that three four times a a, a a week i'm not saying seven times but max it's 28 to three thousand dollars so if you were to try to buy three thousand dollars right here it'll cost you roughly 25 dollars so i'm going to show you so I just played the tar pit. I'm going to lift it, put it in my bag, click OK. And I'm going to go see which, which one is going to pay the most. We're going to play some game too, though. But I just wanted to show you guys because just in case if you ever, you know, run low on cash and you just need some cash real quick. I mean, there's nothing wrong with depositing or anything, but just... For someone just started at the beginning and just wants to get some cash real fast and it's got one trade maybe it's not a vip try this okay i know you might not have a tarpeed or apsaris fossil available but try to get the highest one so at least you get 80 to 100 dollars so i'm gonna try with the fossil and let's see i'm gonna select one and i'm gonna select for cash that's excellent trade right there 199 close to 200 the other day i got 270 so i'm gonna trade it that's my trade number one i got two more so i'm gonna go back to decoration i'm gonna try the tarpeed and let's see i'm gonna go for cash 127 so as you can see it tarpeed didn't pay off today so i'm gonna go back right here tarpeed the other day paid very very well so i'm sh i'm thinking of trying the memorial I think that's got to be a good trade too so i'm gonna go with the memorial and uh i'm gonna place it down easy hold the finger put it back in a uh, bag i'm gonna try the memorial memorial is the first time that i ever done i know i've done the tar pit and I, i've done the fossil i've got as high as a 325 or 350 i think from either one of them Depends on the day. It always changes. It's it's va it's variable. It doesn't stay the same. So I'm gonna try the uh, uh, John Memorial right there. See how much it gives. This is the first time, but since I'm showing it to you, I'm gonna go for cash. 141. It's not a bad one. So the best thing was out of these three trades, that was the most expensive one today, the fossil. Now, the other day when I tried the fossil, I've got as low as 120, I got as high as 350. And it can change with these trades. So if you have three, uh, three trades available, just go ahead. If you have two fossils, try it. If you get 150, next one can give you 250, or it can give you a low. So that's, a, that's the first three trades I did. So here we go. I uh, started the game, what, we're roughly uh, 1,200, so I'm up, well, 12 or 1,300, something like that. Now I'm up to... Uh, 1900 close to 2000 so i'm gonna see what i have right here i i definitely okay this is not responding very well right now just want to see if i have any trades available right here and this is another way to get some cash too usually i trade this is the best the best one that you can get it's from uh, loyalty points or dna as far as the amount of cash that you get all right this is a little bit expensive but when it comes to loyalty points i'm going to train two million for for food uh, i mean two million food for uh some loyalty oh well, this is a perfect trade right there and here we go i definitely love this two to one trades especially when it comes coins to food 
because coins I can always get, but food is very, very hard to get. So I'm going to refresh this. I think I have four refreshes since I'm a VIP. If you're not a VIP, I think you have two refreshes. If I'm correct, we're going to do all that. So that was refresh number one. No, I don't want to trade for a building. Nope, I don't trade for... All right, this is a good trade. Now, if I had Ocean Fountain right there when I was doing those trades, I would have definitely got a 350 or more per. So just think about it. If you get 350, it's close to 1,000 to uh, 1,200, right? Game dollars. That is excellent. And you're trading for only 3,650 DNA. Yeah, I mean, it's maybe for someone it's harder to get, but 3,000 when you reach a maximum level, it's not as hard to get. But cash is always hard to get. So, so I'm going to skip that. All right, there's no cash. There's nothing good right here. And I'm going to definitely do this trade right here. Just so I can have it for tomorrow and do and get some cash. I, I can easily get three trades from this ocean fountain right here. So I'm going to keep them in my bag. I can easily get over a thousand. So I'm going to refresh again. And here we go. I don't want to trade loyalty points for... Alright, that's what I say the best one. The best one is loyalty points for cash. So sometimes you give away like a hundred loyalty points. I mean this trade was awesome. And it'll give you only 80 cash. So that one is hit or miss. I never got anything over $200. So that's why I never do the loyalty points. Because I don't mind. If I were to choose, like I want to trade 500 loyalty points. If it was a set number, I would definitely would have, would have done that. So that's why I don't take that. All right, this is, I don't think I want to do 5,000 DNA for fossil. I can uh, buy it easily. Okay, that's a really good trade right here. 2 to 1 almost. What? Not even 2 to 1. It's more than that. Loyalty points. Yep, I'm running. Uh, so that was number two. So I'm going to refresh again. See what we get. All right, that's another good trade. Yeah, sometimes you get trades like this if you do DNA or loyalty points on the uh, uh, custom trades. So that's why I try to avoid those. Here we go. That's a good one right here. 11,000 for 3K. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that claim now that was a number one for me that's where i get most of my money number two is packs finish the daily missions packs always have cash check it out 100 cash right there but the best pack and you can get the dinosaurs the best pack that you can get the cash is this pack right here check it out if you get cash Card 1 can give you 500. Card 2 can give you 500. Card 3 can give you 500. And card 4, you don't get any cash. You just get a dinosaur. So, without wasting any more time, I'm going to finish this pack. Go um, that way. All right, we got to bring the big guys right here. I'm just trying to give away that first dinosaur. Just one. All right. Three points. It would have been nice to use all four points right there. That would have made it easier right there. But. I'll get him. 63.79. Uh, I don't want to lose this guy. So I'm going to use one, two, three, uh, four or more. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just don't want to lose my Indoraptor. All right. 
Well, we got this one. All right, four and one, and this is over. There's no way out for him. So that's my number two right here of how I get cash. Completing daily missions. You complete the daily missions. You get those packs. They're all free there. Offer for you to take them. All you have to do, just enjoy and play the game. And after that, we'll go to number three. I'm going to show you number three. We didn't get any cash. But we did complete the mission. Got a legendary card. Double the loyalty points. All right, there's a few more packs, but we'll get to that in a second. If you are VIP, you should... I I can easily... If I, if I save the cash that I have right now, I, I can easily, by the end of the week, I can have 10k. Yes, I can. Just by doing trades and doing battles and packs and completing daily missions. That's all. Just playing the game. So those are my options. I just wanted to go through and I wanted to show you guys in case you guys ever needed some cash. In need of cash bad. Just try it. They're there for you. You're not doing anything wrong. So let's go back to the game right now. And let's see if we can get some shiny. Because I got 10 tickets right here. And I want to get that shiny card because I don't own it. Let's see. Most likely not, but let's, you never know. No, it's just a DNA. All right, so I'm going to buy 10 more packs for tomorrow. As you can see, there's not a pack right now, but there's two shinies right there that you can get. Plus, I can get a, a shiny building. What is that, Sandal? And that one can give me easy three, 250 to 350 cash on a trade if I don't use it. Most of them I use them in a the park because they look so cool. I'll show you some of them. Check it out. There it is. Clock tower. And check this out. There's a few other cool ones right here. They're hard to see. See? Mr. DNA statue. Those are very, very cool. <laughs> I got them all lined up. Oh, I forgot I had the Phoenix statue. I got it set up right next to it. But I got them all lined up right here, Mr. DNA statue. These are just cool. And I got... I had a few more. All right, that's a time clock. I had a few more. Oh, there it is. There is the ocean fountain right there. But there's not one. It's more than one. I think I might just add another one right here. Yeah, I just have to set it up. And the rest of them, I probably trade them for cash. So, and I always check, you know, if there is, always, always check uh, the trade harbor. Just because of those buildings, and so I can trade them for cash. As you can see right here, one of them gives you a million food. There's not many buildings that give you a million food. There's absolutely nothing that can give you that much. I don't think so. So think about it. That one probably gives you easy three three fifty. So we'll see tomorrow when I trade it. So that, that's the only reason I spent three k of uh, my DNA just to give. Uh, I, and I did get four of them, right? Yeah. No, I got three of them. So that's good. So I'm gonna, without wasting any more time, I'm gonna complete this mission because I'm working towards the Clash of Titans. That's five hundred dollars cash right here too. Once we get to that. Hopefully, if we can get something, let's do this one. All right, it's only flies right here, so I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to use some big guys right there. Yeah, I was low on cash today when I started the day. I think I only had like 200. And I just, just with the trades, I reached the three, almost close to 2,000. So... And I was thinking about why not just let them know because there's a lot of people just started playing this game and you know running out of cash it's always easy and you just want to get something real fast and 
And it'll help you, too, in the long run. I mean, it's always cool to deposit, but sometimes not everybody can afford it. All right, that was a great move right there. Let's see what this pack gives us. I don't know if this pack, if this has cash, what, what is it, like 50, I believe so? Or it's not a, such a big pack, so. I just don't want to waste. I wasn't counting right there, so I just went with it. All right, let's finish him up. Oh, what was that? That was one mean fly right there. It was moving way too fast. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, this could have got some good pick. Ugh. All right, just a rare pack. Yeah, if it's got a 500 DNA, that means the cash is almost equal to it. So, we're, we're, we're not getting lucky today with the cash. I don't know. I think it's just because and this is just a super DNA. So, we definitely have to finish this one. And since I have a... I'm not going to waste time, like I said. I'm going to use my big guys right here. Knock them out. I'm going to use my Indoraptor. Look what he can do. Oh, I can add another Indoraptor right now. Might as well. I'm going to add another Indoraptor. Let's see. Now that I got the cash to hatch, just the other day I hatched a bunch of shiny ones. And I almost... Well, I ran out of a cash. Didn't I? Yeah, I, I believe I only had like 80. So, I just wanted, you know, to be clear. And I just want to show you guys few ways of how oh come on it's just wasting my time it's got no way out right there all right we got him it's just Baronox is very 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 powerful card but just nothing has a It's just Indoraptor, it's just flame. I mean, this guy comes and he can just wipe everything out by himself. <clears throat> I think I'm going to get another one so I can get to a level 20. All right. Ooh, let's see what we get right here. Velociraptor. Oh, yeah. This one is very hard to say. Yeah, another Velociraptor and another Velociraptor. All right, that's cool. So now I think I have more than enough that I need to. So let's go hatch somebody right here. Mm, who should I hatch? They're pretty much the same. I'm gonna hatch the first round. Yeah, I'm trying to get this guy to level 30, and I think I have one more waiting there to be hatched. Might as well, I'll just let it go. Let's get another Indoraptor right here. There it is, baby. There it goes. Another indoor raptor right there in the hatchery. And that's good. Let it go. Now I'm going to have two at level 20, I believe. That is just cool. Oh, I can get one at level 30, but I think level 20 is just what a power. It can easily. All right, let me see the daily mission 24 right here. That's a good pack right here, too. Yeah, you see, you don't get so much cash out of this kind of packs. So the main pack is the one I just did. That's the biggest pack that you can give you cash because unless you get some uh, special packs on a prize drop, like I was talking earlier, but the golden rewards packs is one of the best ones to get. And these aquatic two are really good. But it's nothing like golden reward packs. As you can see, like that's the only one that gives you 500. I mean, there's a few other packs if you open up packs and you buy them, but that means you're spending. I'm just trying to uh, find a way how to get some cash without spending. And I already spent a thousand right there. But I got a shiny dinosaur and I got an indoor raptor. So let me see. I did complete that mission 25 out of 28. So by the end of the weekend, I should have Sarasaurus. That's a really, really cool card right there. I should have them unlocked. I think I might have them unlocked from a tournament, but so 
All right, guys, but I just wanted to go through, complete the animations, and show you. I just want to recap real quick. The best way to get some cash real quick if you need it, it's trade harbor. Either refresh right here or do the custom trade. If you're VIP, you get three. The second one is do the daily missions. Complete the daily missions. You complete the daily missions, there's some packs that can give you up to 500 cash. There's packs that can give you more. But, and the number three, it's always doing the weird stuff right here. As I say, the free cash. And if you're looking to add a game or something, just check, check through here. If it's through here, why not add it through here and start playing? So if you had a game through here, Let's see what kind of games are there. Let's see it one more time. All right. Let's just check for uh, offer. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need all oh, discovery. Actions. So this is you have to take actions. And this is just a watch, I think. Download. Like, for example, if you download something, like download Groupon app, but it only gives you like just 29 cash. It's very cheap right there. Come on, Groupon. What's going on with you? My friends, give them, give them some cash. Uh, this is just, you know, if you watch videos or something, it's just, yeah. You just want to go to the action, to take action. Yeah, some of them are just flame. Like, you're like 6K right there. Let me move this out of, out of the way. Uh, I'm trying to find a good spot. Yeah, some of them you get like 6k, like, let me see, but it's a pretty cool games right here. Yeah, anyway, so just want to show you, this was op option, num option number three, so it's not my favor. I, I think I've done it once, I've done it early when I used to play years ago, now with this account. So, yeah, I done it, and I got a pretty good cash. I don't know what I did. I added some kind of app, but it was paying much better. I don't know. Right now, it's not paying as much, but as I say, you know, I'm going to stop it right here. Um, I'm just going to say thank you so much if you're watching. Let me know if you have any questions, but if you, if you, I, I just show you the tips how I, how I get the cash. So I just want to, you know, throw it out there and share it with you guys. So have a good night and hope to see you again. All right. Bye-bye.